Uh, good morning, good afternoon, Kent Game 9 Business Group. Welcome back to Elevate Your Business Chat. Today we have Morgan with us. Morgan, welcome. Thanks again for your time. Uh, Morgan, please introduce yourself, your company name, and what makes you guys different from your competition and why people enjoy working with you. Uh, hi, Kent. Thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Morgan Sylvain. I'm with Smile and Company. Uh, we are a recruitment, dental recruitment agency within Calgary. So we cater to Calgary and the surrounding area and starting to be kind of throughout Alberta. Um, we started out offering uh, just temping services, but we now do recruitment as well. Um, and as far as our temping services go, we have a, um, a, a booking system that's fairly streamlined. So um, anytime a dental clinic is in need of someone, uh, they just submit their booking request through our system and it's communicated to, through our list of personnel uh, within about a minute of them submitting the booking request. So their positions are usually filled fairly quickly. Um, for any temporary positions. And then on top of that, we do a lot of recruitment for dental clinics, um, like I said, throughout Calgary, surrounding area, and now Alberta. Um, I think they enjoy working with us because we're fairly hands-on. Um, so we're always available to uh, kind of chat about what they're looking for, what they're not looking for, and uh, help out where we can. Fantastic. Where did the, I'm going a little off script, so I apologize. Where did the idea of this come from and why the need to offer the service, what what prompted the idea, I guess, or the want to do it? Uh, so I've been working in the dental industry for about 18 years. I was previously, or I still am a dental assistant. Um, and uh, I guess right around the time that I went on my first maternity leave, I was getting a lot of phone calls from clinics asking me to come back and fill in for shifts here and there. Uh, so I kind of felt the need at that time. Um, and then by the time I had my third child, um, it was getting a lot busier and I was not able to commit to a full-time job um, because with three kids and childcare and sick kids and all of that, uh, at that time, it was just tough to commit. Um, so as, as an employee, I felt like I was not pulling my weight um, because I was having to call in sick and find other people to fill in for me and then when I was at home, when I wasn't working, I had people calling me, asking me to come into work. So I was seeing it from both ends. Um, so I, I definitely was able to identify the need um, through that. And then, and then, yeah, one day I just thought, you know, this would be good for Airdrie because that's where I'm based out of. Um, but it quickly grew just from Airdrie to Calgary and now it's throughout Alberta. Good for you. How long have you been doing it? Uh, we started in 2019. Oh, nice. Okay. So you've had a nice little run. So in those three and a half, four years, what's been the biggest challenge you've overcome? How did you solve it? How did you tackle it? And what's the outcome today? <laughs> uh, so probably the biggest challenge has been the labor shortage, uh, especially since COVID. Um, there's been a lot less available uh, dental personnel. Um, so as far as temping goes, uh, the way that we've helped to overcome that is we've, um, with our booking system, we've really grown our pool uh, to, to draw from. Uh, and then with our system, it's fairly streamlined. So we're able to contact everyone who's available um, within about a minute of a booking going out. Uh, so it's so because we're able to reach out to so many people in such a short amount of time, uh, we're usually able to fill temporary shifts fairly quickly. Um, as far as the recruitment goes, we went from only having a job board on our on our website to like sourcing out candidates, um, recruiting, actively recruiting people for dental clinics, um, just because there is a labor shortage right now. And people aren't really look, going to job boards to look for jobs. It's more recruiters having to go to candidates to offer them positions. Hey, good for you. That sounds like fun. Um, so it sounds like you solved it by turning a little bit on its head and actually creating a database of, of, uh, of temp clients and then matchmaking in a way. So you're creating an inventory of both. Yes. We're essentially a matchmaker. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Um, so what is the one thing you know now that you wish you would have known when you started in business three and a half, four years ago? Um, probably uh, with with different personality types and, and dentistry is a high stress industry. Um, I've just probably my biggest learning curve has been to just know to not to take on other stress. Um, I've always been one to want to problem solve and, and help people right away. And, um, in this business, I've realized that I can't take on others stress. I can help them. I can lend them my ear. I can help them with strategies to kind of, um, pivot around, but I, I can't take everything home with me because I would be, um, far too stressed all the time. <laughs> uh, I, that is uh, a great message. So in essence, you, you've learned how to say no. And I'll paraphrase a little bit too, because it's people often use the word balance and I don't like it. I don't think there's such thing as balance. I think it's more like harmony, like a good orchestra, um, where it's not, you know, equal parts of this and equal parts of that. Harmony is more like we have the right things in the right amount. So if we think about a orchestra, if we have too much bass and too much tuba, it really comes up with a really heavy tone. Whereas if we have too much piccolo and too much saxophone, it's too high pitched. So harmony, I think for people, and especially business owners, is finding those the right amount of each things that we want in our life. And to your point, saying no to those things that don't bring us joy and don't help us achieve our goals. Is that a pretty good summary? Yeah, that would, that would be it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, what are the top three challenges that your industry faces in the next 18 to 24 months? Um, again, uh, number one is the labor shortage. Um, there is uh, every day there's less and less um, dental assistants and dental hygienists looking for available positions. Um, there's there's more of a demand. Um, and so that that's always the biggest challenge. Um, it takes a lot of time to reach out and contact potential candidates. Um, so that's probably one of the biggest ones. The other one, um, as far as the industry goes, like 15, 20 years ago, everyone was independently owned by a dentist. And now there's more and more uh, corporations buying dental clinics. So it's just changing the way of dentistry. Interesting, changing it for the good, changing it for the bad. That I don't know yet. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's fairly new. I mean, not that the corporations are new, but just um, they've it's definitely become um, more popular of an idea in the last year or two. And I think COVID has had a huge impact on that. Um, and now I'm just kind of observing to see to see whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, at least you're being aware and and you're setting yourself up for success because it's it's way easier to navigate changing times when we see the changes coming as opposed to um, what happened to all of us two and a half years ago when change just happened overnight and we got slapped in the face with it. So good on you for you. Keep it up. Uh, So as a quote unquote relatively newer business owner, I want to know your opinion. What's your definition of a successful business? Um, I would say just, well... Number one would be enjoying what you're doing. Um, overall, having a profit that can, um, I guess, give you the lifestyle that you're looking for, but also um, being in a position where you're you're able to handle it and not over overstressed. <laughs> Excellent, cool. I love it. So something you enjoy, profitability, and creating the right lifestyle for yourself. Yeah. Excellent. One last question, pretty simple one, but it's my favorite. What do you want to be known for? Uh, What do I want to be known for? Um, Probably um, just always having a positive attitude and helping to connect people. Excellent. So as we wrap up here, thanks again for your time. One last push for the audience. Where can they find you? Anybody who, uh, who hasn't maybe been, who is in the dental world, who maybe unfortunately hasn't heard of you, uh, where would they find you? Where would they get more information about you and what you do? Uh, they can always check out our website or reach out to us via email. Our website is a long one. It's uh, www.smile-and-company.com or they can send us an email at info at smile-and-company.com. Excellent. Thanks again for your time and have an amazing week. You as well. Thanks, Kent. You're welcome.